What is up, Gloving Fam? It is I, Materia, from Team Trails for Snails, AOL, WMF, and Organization 13, and I'm giving you, lucky motherfuckers, the much requested whip and flail tutorial. Hot damn. Took me a long ass time to film this bastard, and I'm gonna give it to you now, because y'all deserve it. Um, sorry it took so long to get out. Um, also, pardon the fact that I am still recovering from Spring Awakening, so give me some slack here. I'm very tired, but I wanted to give this, get this video out to you guys as, as soon as possible. So, we're just gonna jump right into it, because it seems that my battery life is dying quite rapidly. So, we're just gonna make this short. Um, we're gonna go over three steps today. First step is the importance of fundamentals. Guys, 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 guys. Many people have asked how my whips look, um, how they make, how I make my whips look good. Um, Form-wise, it's because they come from a strong finger roll. Because a whip is nothing but a finger roll being shot out at you. Finger roll. So practicing finger rolls is very, very important. Having the understanding to go left, to go right, to go upside down, to going left, to going right, even making weird ass connections like so, doing anything you possibly can to getting the confidence down, knowing where your hands are, being able to go in, go out, anything you want. As long as you have that confidence, that comfortability, your ropes will look much better. Um, that's where it comes from. So the more you do it, the better they'll look. Uh, moving on. Right on to step two, assuming that you have badass finger rolls, you've been gloving, you're a fucking OG, you've been doing this shit ever since the day you came out of the goddamn womb, we're just gonna go right into it. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna teach any whip patterns, um, but the second point is um, I'm gonna provide basically a different mentality to how you can change your whips up. Um, the reason I'm not providing a flip, uh, whip pattern is because I I honestly don't find my whips to be uh, pattern oriented. I find them, um, I find myself playing more off of spontaneity and I put shit basically wherever the fuck I want, <laughs> you know? Um, I don't like relying on patterns. It's a good foundation, don't get me wrong, obviously, but um, what I did to kind of branch away from it was that uh, I took um, you know, the whip patterns that they give on the amazing tutorials, on really basic whip tutorials. Um, you know, like that four step whip, uh, for example, like a one, two, three, four. Um, what I did to branch off of that was that I would take one of those numbers and I would change the placement of it. So instead of one, two, three, four, I did one, two, three, four, and put it on top. And after Practicing with that mentality a little bit, you're able to change the last one, you're able to change half of it, you're able to change most of it, until it's basically not even the same pattern anymore. You can do whatever the hell you want. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the mentality that I uh, adapted to get into it. Hopefully um, it makes sense to you, hopefully you can kind of integrate it the same way. Um, so yeah, that's really important, is to break away from patterns. Really, um, patterns are nice. They are. They are really nice. But a lot of people do the same patterns over and over again, and it gets kind of boring. So the way you think about it is just to let go, to practice your whips, gain that confidence, where you know where your hands are at all times, and you can apply a whip anywhere you want. And even getting. Um, uh, different variations, such as um, cutting a whip in half and then rewinding it. Um, it's it's all about it's all about that spontaneity, yo. It's all about having fun with it. As long as you can make a connection and you have the confidence to shoot a whip and then do something out of it, you are gonna be fucking golden. Um, moving on to step three, which is the flail patterns. Um, again, uh, I'm not going to be showing a flail pattern per se, uh, just a different mentality, maybe um, some fundamental tips. Um, so, 
To get flails looking good, obviously you need that wrist flexibility. No, I do not have joints. Um, so, uh, just practicing is very important, and people are very impatient, and I understand, because so am I. But, you know, making sure that you stand in front of a mirror and you make yourself look like an idiot pays off pretty damn well. Um, you know what? Alright, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a treat. I'm gonna give you a whip, uh, a little bit of a flail pattern, and I'm gonna give you uh, kind of a different perspective to branch off of it. So, what I'm gonna give you is this flail pattern, pretty commonly known. Um, Blitzen does it a lot in her shows, or at least she used to. Uh, that's where I learned it from. But uh, I also learned it from the amazing tutorials. Uh, they showed that as well. Um, so what I did to branch off of that pattern was that I would take this and I would, again, change the location of it just like I would a whip. So instead of left arm, uh, left arm down, right arm on top, I'm doing this over and over again, you can change the location of it, you can go up, go down. Um, Another thing I did was actually change the format of it. So instead of uh, left arm down, I would go mid flail and put the right arm down and do that. And then I would repeat the process until I was weaving through it. Um, you can do that. You can take the right arm while the left arm is constant and you just apply your whips anywhere. Um, I learned, or I was inspired, uh, my whips, God damn it! My flails were inspired by um, poi movements too. So finding inspiration elsewhere, especially with poi. Poi is very important when it comes to flails because it's the same shit. Um, as long as you have that wrist action going, you can do whatever you want. Key is confidence. Key is creativity. Key is comfortability too. Um, being able to not have a doubt, not a single doubt, wherever you put your hand. You can put that shit wherever you want, and if you gain that confidence, if you gain that uh, comfortability, again, you are fucking golden. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. That is the whip and flail tutorial that I am going to give you. If you would like me to break it down more, um, please shoot me a message, leave me a comment. Um, if you want me to cover another aspect of gloving that uh, you want me to put a, tor a bleh, tutorial up for, please let me know. Um, I might be doing a lot of these in the future, I might not. It all depends on you. So if you liked it, if you liked um, seeing a kind of different perspective, if you liked um, that change in mentality a little bit, I will be doing that a lot more because that's pretty much the only way I can teach it. <laughs> so. Love you guys, hope I inspired or taught one of you, and if I got one of you fuckers out there, then that's a victory for me. So, love you guys, I'll see you next time.